In this video, we're going to focus on Pythagorean triples. So let's say we have a right triangle and we're familiar with the Pythagorean theorem, which gives us an equation relating to the three sides of the right triangle. And that is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Now the Pythagorean triples are basically whole numbers that fit this equation. So for instance, 3, 4, 5 is considered a Pythagorean triple because 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to 5 squared. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25. 9 plus 16 is 25. So what this means is if you know two sides of the right triangle, you can easily know the third side without doing any math. So if this side is 3 and this side is 4, automatically you know this side is 5. And so being familiar with the Pythagorean triples helps you to solve right triangles quickly. Now any multiple of the 3, 4, 5 ratio will work as well. If you multiply this by 2, you're going to get the 6, 8, 10 right triangle. If you multiply it by 3, you'll get the 9, 12, 15 right triangle. If you multiply it by 4, you'll get the 12, 16, 20 right triangle. If you were to multiply it by 5, you'll get the 15, 20, 25 right triangle. Now all of these, you'll likely see this in school. I've seen it doing homework problems and they're very common. So make sure you're familiar with the multiples of the Pythagorean triples. If you could divide it by a common number, then you can easily identify the base Pythagorean triple. So this is the first one you need to be familiar with. The next Pythagorean triple is 5, 12, 13. And you could test it in this formula. 5 squared plus 12 squared is 13 squared. 5 times 5 is 25. 12 times 12 is 144. 13 times 13 is 169. Now, 25 plus 144 that's 169 so you can see that works as well and of course the multiples of this Pythagorean triple will apply as well so we also have the 10 24 26 right triangle the 15 36 39 right triangle and so forth but now from here on let's focus on just the base Pythagorean theorem. So the smallest, most common one, which we've covered, is the 3, 4, 5 right triangle. Next, we have the 5, 12, 13 triangle. After that, the next common one that you'll see in school is the 7, 24, 25 right triangle. And then there's the 8, 15, 17 right triangle. So these four are the most common base Pythagorean triples that you're going to see in a typical high school or college math course. Now there are some other less common Pythagorean triples but you're going to encounter some of these as well. The next four is the 9, 40, 41 triangle. And you could check it. If you type in in your calculator, 9 squared plus 40 squared, 9 squared is 81, 40 squared, 40 times 40, that's 1600. And if you type in 41 squared, you'll get 1681. So you could see that this particular Pythagorean triple checks out.
after the 9, 40, 41 triangle, the next one is the 11, 60, 61 right triangle. After that, it's the 12, 35, 37 right triangle. And there's also the 20, 21, 29 right triangle. So for these, you're typically not expected to memorize these, but I've seen them in certain problems. So you can add these to your list. So those are the most common Pythagorean triples that you're going to encounter in school. Now, there's a lot more that are very uncommon. You really don't have to memorize these, but for those of you who are curious, I'm gonna write them down. So the next one, the next few that I'm gonna write are the ones that are under 100. So we have the 13, 84, 85 right triangle. Next is the 16, 63, 65 right triangle. After that, we have the 28, 45, 53 right triangle. And then there's the 33, 56, 65 right triangle. Next is 36, 77, 85. Then there's the 39, 80, 89. The 48, 55, 73. And then the 65, 72, 97. And you could find these numbers online if you do a Google search. Just type in, you know, a list of Pythagorean triples. And there are websites out there that will give you this. But for the most part, you really don't need to know the ones highlighted in green. I've never seen them in a problem. The first eight. The ones highlighted in blue, you should definitely memorize those. The one highlighted in red, they're less common, but you may see them in a problem. So if you memorize the first eight, you're going to be okay uh, for almost any problem that involves Pythagorean theorem. Now, there's some other ones that go well past 100. I'll write a few of them. So we have the 15, 112. 113 right triangle. Next is the 17, 145, I mean 144, 145 right triangle. After that we have the 19, 180, 181, 20, 99, 101, and then there's the 21, 220, 221, and then 23, 264, 265. And I'm going to do two more. 24, 143, 145, and 25, 312, 313. So there's more than that, but I mean, you can go forever with these numbers. But as you can see, there's a lot of Pythagorean triples. But for the most part, if you memorize the first eight in blue and red, you should be okay.